Welcome to the Monday Morning Brief for February 1st, 2016. And the first two months of each year, several nations issue stamps with themes of love and time for use on Valentine's Day mail. Earlier this year, the United States Postal Service continued its long-running love stamp series with a quilt paper heart forever stamp issued on January the 12th. But another traditional holiday this month has seemingly been all but ignored on postage stamps. This holiday is Groundhog's Day. However, while there may not be any stamps commemorating February 2nd, there are a few stamps that picture groundhogs and their relatives and illustrate the traditions and customs that have, that have led to having a groundhog predict the weather. A large rodent, in fact the largest member of the squirrel family, the groundhog is native to North America. It is called the woodchuck, which is the name that appears on a 22 cent stamp in the 1987 North American Wildlife Pain of 50 Stamps. Canada pictures four young woodchucks on a permanent rate stamp issued January 14, 2013, in a series devoted to baby animals. According to most sources, what we now know as Groundhog Day was brought to Pennsylvania by German settlers as part of the celebration of Candlemas Day. A 1950 semi-postal stamp of Luxembourg features Candlemas. This is part of a set showing folklore traditions. The feast, which marked the presentation of the infant Jesus in the temple, received its name because of the blessing and distribution of candles occurred on that day. And somewhere along the line, it also became associated with the prediction of weather. An old English rhyme goes, if Candlemas be fair and bright, come winter, have another flight. If Candlemas bring clouds and rain, go winter and come not again. In Germany, they reportedly used a hedgehog on Candlemas Day, February 2nd, to see if it would cast a shadow, which just like the groundhog shadow would mean six more weeks of bad weather. And how did the groundhog become a substitute for the hedgehog? The Groundhog Day website of the Punxsutawney Groundhog Club answers this question. Pennsylvania's earliest settlers were Germans and they found, how, and they found groundhogs to be in profusion in many parts of the state. They determined that the groundhog, which resembled the European hedgehog, was the most intelligent was the most intelligent and sensible animal, and therefore decided if the sun did not appear on February 2nd, so wise an animal as the groundhog would see its shadow and hurry back into the underground home for another six weeks of winter. And while we don't have any postage stamp for Groundhog Day, there have been special postmarks for the occasion, including one from a few years ago showing the most famous groundhog, Punxsutawney Phil. For Lynn Stamp News and Scott Publishing, I'm Denise McCarty. Have a happy Groundhog's Day and enjoy your weeks in stamps and keep up with the latest stamp news by following Lynn Stamp News on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.